How's the royal family? I pray that everyone is doing well. Well, my royal family. Ah, uh, here we go again with some more racial shit. So we're gonna get into this. So we are looking here at Deborah Cantwell. And I got um some things I'm gonna read to the royal family. I'm not gonna read the entire article, but I'm gonna really touch on some stuff here in the direction I'm gonna go may surprise some people. So, Deborah Campwell was charged with intimidation and criminal mischief for a note. She put a note. They should have said she put a note. Cantwell also covered her neighbor's newly purchased home with toilet paper. Amy Pundit said Cantwell saw her black son while they posed with a soul sign. Cantwell wrote in a letter that she finds niggers stressful and it sets her sets her off rage. I can't be stressed for I, I cannot be stress free if I have to look at that nigger kid, she wrote in the letter. Cantwell later admitted to police that she wrote the letter and wouldn't apologize. I want that to sink in real deep, my royal family. She says she ain't apologizing at all for her actions and behavior. So, um, basically, what's going down, and I'm going to get back into the article, is um, this lady moves in the neighborhood with her adopted son. They just bought this home, and they took a picture, and that lady seen it, and she went off. And what ceased to amaze me, and I know these people feel like they are, have good intentions, is that they are confused at why anyone would have an issue with them having an African-American child and they in a white, lily white neighborhood. So you go into lily white schools because um, he's not getting um, the full fledged black culture. So there's going to be some backlash. Yeah, it's wrong, but um, this is where I have a problem with, and this is our duty and responsibilities that we need to adopt our own. Um, I have an issue with it. Now, yeah, there are some people that have biracial children, too, as well. And um, I'm guessing, based on looking at his hair, he's possibly biracial. But anyway, let's get back into it a little deeper. So, the 63-year-old Indiana woman has been arrested after she left a racist letter on the door of the neighbor. Newly purchased home police have revealed. Deborah Cantwell was charged with intimidation and criminal mischief after she allegedly covered the neighbor's house in toilet paper and left the shocking letter. A protective order was also issued stating that stalking has occurred and that Cantwell is not allowed to contact the family. Cantwell spotted Amy Howe pundit and her family on October 12th when they happily took photos with the soul sign in front of the new house in Greentown. Let's continue on. Okay. Pundit, who has a 15-year-old son, said it was the family's dream home, one that had taken them a year to find and save up for. The day that her children picked out the rooms and the colors for the rooms, everyone began talking about the memories they hope to make in the, fu in the future of their new dream home. But the happiness and excite excitement did not last long. Oh no, because uh, Becky over here was up in her feelings. She was real stressed. So I'm going to skip a little bit of this article because I want to get into the juicy parts. So, 
when she saw the when, she, when when he her husband saw the letter, it said here no niggers wanted in the neighborhood. This is a white neighborhood. Some some people, the beginning of a horrific letter which was all type red. Okay. Caldwell, who had admitted to writing the letter, went on to say that she has 33 years of negative experience and finds niggers stressful. I cannot be I cannot be stress free if I have to look at that nigger kid day in and day out. Okay, let me scroll on up and get to the best parts. Cantwell then goes on to say that she moved to a white town, a all white town, a all white neighborhood for health reasons. This is our forever home. We cannot afford to move. Besides, this is my dream home and we have been here for a very long time. The letter continues. Perhaps you should have considered the neighborhood before bringing a nigger kid in this neighborhood. Your nigger kid is not welcome. And she put those in capital letters, my royal family. Just the sight of the child reminds me of all the things I, li I lived in this town to forget. Your kid may be a nice kid, but the sight sets off my anger and rage and disgust of how niggers never pay for their crimes. Pundit's hu husband immediately called the police to report the taller paper and the letter which has left his family shaken. Okay, let me continue on. The taller, the, the uh, taller paper that was a warning. Pundit wrote in Facebook post after the incident, the note that w was the threat. A letter about my son had been a letter about my son who has been wa uh, watched and spotted and plotted against my biracial okay he is my biracial son my child faced bigotry hatred at a level i cannot even fathom just for the color of his skin pundit said the letter had completely destroyed her son's innocence and childhood and has even affected her four other children. Okay, this woman is not in reality. So we're gonna go back over here. You're not in reality. I don't know what folks think. They adopt these, adopt our kids, um, and um, and um, basically, um, treat our children like. They some little pets, and everybody's supposed to go along and get along with it. Not everybody gonna go along and get along with it, and nine times out of ten, it's gonna be your own, and you know your own. I don't know why people like this play these games. Like, oh, I'm horrified, I'm shocked at this woman's behavior. What America? What America are you living in? That is the question that I would ask the people. We have biracial children who adopt uh, biracial children. Um, that's the question that I would ask. What reality are you living in? These things are expected. Like I said, my royal family, the way y'all thought I was going to go, no, we got to keep it core over here. We got to look at it for what it really is in America. And they should have been teaching this unquote biracial child because they don't treat you biracial in America. They treat you according to what they see. They always have. You know, they're true to their nature. You know, I point that out quite frequently to the royal family so we don't lose sight of what's really going on because that's the ultimate goal of the enemy for us to lose sight of what's really going on in America. So let me look a bit further before I play this video. Let me see, is there anything else? I'm gonna put this article in here, but I don't feel the need to have to read the entire article. Let me see. What did this, what else does this woman say? It was quite interesting. I know she said she wasn't apologizing, and that's the part that, that I'm pointing out, because we real quick, 
to apologize. Okay. Oh, yeah. Here is the juicy part. So, anyway. So, um, on October 18th, Cantwell admitted to the police that she had written the letter and covered the family's yard in toilet paper. But she refused to apologize and continue to defend her actions. The blacks get away with it every time, she told the investigators. I was trying to vent. I was just trying to let them know that they weren't really welcome as far as us. I just need to let off sting. Lord have mercy. I'm not a violent person. So I don't I don't think it was a big deal. It is a big deal. Because you're putting your demonic energy over there. Canwell says she was sorry for sorry that her letter caused so much ruckus before adding that she released some anger writing the letter. She ain't gonna she just sorry that she wrote the letter because she's sorry that her ass got caught and then you know she had to take this picture that I love looking at. Oh she ooh, child busted. Oh she busted. She real busted. Mm, mm, mm. And that's 63 huh? Ouch! Ouch! Let me see what else is going on here. Well, that is it, my royal family. Let's watch the video. Oh, girlfriend, you look rough. Mm -mm -mm. Community is coming together tonight to respond to hate after a family received a racially charged letter telling them not to move to Greentown. Prosecutors have now charged a 63-year-old neighbor for writing that threatening note. But as our David McAnally tells us, the community sent even more letters to this family, this time filled with messages of kindness and love. The 63-year-old grandmother, Deborah Cantwell, charged with criminal mischief and intimidation. It happened off State Road 600 East near Greentown. Howard County investigators say Cantwell left a letter on a new neighbor's front door that was racially offensive and threatening in nature. The woman said she had just learned there was a new family moving in very nearby. She was concerned about this new family because she had just learned that they had children and one of the children was an adopted African-American child. Quote, this is a white neighborhood. Your kid is not welcome and you can sell your house and make money on it right now. Just some of what the letter said. The author also wrote that a sister was bothered in school once and that a granddaughter was bullied by African Americans. Police traced it back to Cantwell after interviews with neighbors. One had gotten a text from Cantwell that contained similar language. Cantwell later told police it was to quote, let off steam, that she was quote, not a violent person. When I heard about the, le the letter, I was horrified. Um, as a mother of an African American child, and five adopted children. I couldn't believe that our little community, you know, was being held up as a racist area to live. Susan Tobin did not know the family that received the threatening letter until she heard the story. I wanted to send a message to the person who wrote the letter that this isn't tolerated here. Her family collected welcome notes and little gifts from all over Greentown for the newcomers. A lot of them said that, um, welcome to Greentown and this is not the type of people who we are. I drew them some pictures like animals and hearts. The mom who received the threat. She was, you know, um, visibly overwhelmed by the generosity of the, of the act of love pouring onto their family. In Greentown, a rainbow welcome. David McAnally, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. All righty. We pursue curiosity, down. creativity. Okay, that was nice of them. That was, you know, uh, you know, that was nice of the people in the neighborhood to, um, you know, be the welcome committee. But we on the true royal family and um, uh, we have to deal with reality this letter here is reality about the core of America. They don't like us. They will never like us because who and what we are. You know, we know who we are. We know who we are. We are the true royal family. And it tickles me, my royal family, that even our own be talking about who's the royal family. I don't even converse with them. I block them and keep it moving. Some people even get tired of me saying the royal family. I ain't said it enough. But we have to deal with reality in America. 
And I know that there are some good white people out here, but it ain't enough. And you need to be in reality too. See, this is where the confusion comes in, that even the good ones are not in reality and they want to live this fairy tale existence. It's not a fairy tale in our world. Every day we subjugated as I speak, somebody fucking with us. And nobody gives a damn that you got a black child in your house. They don't give a damn. I don't even give a damn because he needs to be with us. See, that's on us. That's a whole nother conversation. I'm going to keep it core. I know it's painful. Some of the things that I may say is painful to me, but I have to stay in reality. And the Caucasoid race, even the few good ones, want to stay out of reality and live, again, a fairy tale existence. So, like I always say, this gangster here who wrote her gangster letter. She doing everything right in this war. She's keeping me wide awake and many of us wide awake about how they truly, truly fear. And she was just acting upon her true nature. It is what it is, my royal fair family. Like I said, wherever the story lands, it lands. And sometimes it don't land where I want it to land, but I gotta keep it core. So my royal family, do this for me. Render your voice with your beautiful divine words. And as always, my royal family, I thank you for your love. I thank you for your support. And with that said, I shake.